everybody and welcome. I am so glad that you're here. Today is gonna be the Christmas home tour. Yay! And I'm so excited. It's gonna be so good and so cozy. And there's lots of do-it-yourself projects that we have in here that you guys have seen before in our previous videos. Plus there's way more that we're gonna be sharing here. So I'm gonna take a few minutes to tell you the behind the scenes, the story of the projects and why is it that we do it. And then after those few minutes that you have all the video to enjoy it with just some background music and just you walking through the house and checking what we have over here. Hopefully they can inspire you for also your decoration for Christmas. Also, we're gonna be doing like a three-in-one video because at the end we're gonna turn off all the lights so you can see then all the Christmas lights and the display and then enjoy also the lighting that we have in here. If you are new to the channel, then welcome to Jalis Community. I am so happy that you're here. Welcome, yay, I love you guys so much. And if you have been here for a long time, I love you so much, you guys are amazing. <laughs> so this is the lifestyle channel that every Tuesday we share something new from decoration, gardening, do-it-yourself, recipes, all kinds of stuff, home remedies, all kinds of stuff, right? So, and this is a one stop for everything. So let's go ahead and start then with our tour and I'll tell you then what we have over here. In our grand living room over here, we have three Christmas trees. So two are rotating trees and then one is a small one. I think this is a nine feet, I think this is a seven feet and I think the one that we have in the corner over here is a five feet so they all vary we buy lots of stuff in here on sale uh, and we usually never buy anything that is regular price so my tip for you guys tip number one is to always buy after the season so after christmas everything is super cheap so that's when i would then check something that i like i usually never buy anything because you know, I don't, it's not that you need something, right? So if you want something and you really want something because you're on display or whatever, I usually then wait at the end and check them for prices. I never buy regular price. And then everything that you see in the display that we have in the trees is all um, things that Justin had or that I had, ornaments that we have had throughout the years that people have given us. So that's one of the things that I love the most if you're looking them for a present so tip number two is that a ornament goes a long way because it gives you a history and then when you're decorating the whole tree it's so cute to see all those ornaments so yeah we have lots of ornaments over there and then you can see that at the top we also put some of those star paper um so this, the star paper ornaments over here those i made them and we are going to be opening soon um a facebook shop or in an Instagram shop link as well. So I know there's as many do-it-yourself projects that I have done and many people don't have the time to do it. So people have asked me like, hey, can you do this or whatever? So that's gonna be a site. So whoever wants all the paper stars, I'm gonna be putting the link later on in the comment section once we have it done. So that you can also then, if you would like some of those, you can order them. And you can see that throughout the house, we have many of them and they're all different styles. We love those ceramic, I love ceramic trees. So those, you can see them from the last year video and in this video as well. And I love the red color. So I don't, I don't think that even if I change through all the years, I don't think that I will get away from the red color Christmas because it just makes it also more, more cozy. Tip number three could be also, and I'm gonna forget about counting because I know that I'm gonna say, tell you so many tips. Another tip is that if you, don't have that much stuff, just taking some pillows, Christmas decor pillows, that makes everything Christmassy. So in here, some pillows for Christmassy, and you're gonna see that the same display of the bird that we have over here in red with the poncetia is gonna be all throughout the house, so that gives you that unison of everything coming along together. Also over here, we have a blanket, so that's another tip. Blankets um, with display of Christmas goes a long way for making everything very Christmassy as well. We always like to display the um, Christmas cards. And so if you if you have any Christmas cards, you know, that you have received throughout the years, don't throw them away. Many of them, we, we don't have all of them displayed. So some of them are in a box 
Um, and so we go and check it out throughout the years and all the things that people have written. But some that the ones that are really special and the ones and people actually took their time to write something cool. So those we actually show it off. And so um, the last year, you can see that in the video, we actually put it all throughout the cap, the kitchen cabinets. And each year, I know that I will display in different ways because my brain is just like that. And this year, I displayed it in some of the columns. So you can see that in here I have it. And then in the dining room, that's where we have the most. So I'm gonna show you that now. So you can see over here, we have um, some of the Christmas cards that people have written. And so we have it in here display. And it's super cute because if you wanna check it out, you can just open it and then see the message. You had seen previously how we did our centerpiece and how we use material that we have from in here in our yard from the spruce trees and Tuja Bodhitae and the holly and all that kind of stuff. So you can check that video and I'm gonna put the links of all the different things I'm saying and telling you that we have done a video. I'm gonna put it in the comment section down below and also in the video itself. And you can might see a link in the video popping up of the video itself for do-it-yourself centerpiece. Um, last year I did the railings. I did the railings and the railings were a do-it-yourself um, whole display garland of different material from the forest, you know, from our, our yard, which was a lot of the spruce tree and all the tuja and all that kind of stuff. But because we have our beautiful Cordelia, the cat, um, that has a lot of needles and the needles fall on the ground, so you have to vacuum it constantly. And so having a fake one would be fantastic, but I didn't have any fake ones, they're so expensive. So I just decided to put some of the beautiful dark paper snowflake. And so that's what we put in here. here. You can see that we have our Christmas tree napkin and there's a video of do it yourself Christmas tree napkin. So I'll show, I'll put also the link so you can actually do that. It's really easy and you can also use paper napkins. So it goes a really long way, a little tiny tip. In the kitchen, we leave it very clean because I do cook a lot in the kitchen and make lots of recipes. You can actually check the playlist of recipes because I have shared lots of recipes with you guys. So in here, um, I only put a little tiny string over here. This is from Justin's mom, which is so cute and he plays also songs. And so as you can see in the uh, background, in here at the end of the counter, that's where I put some stuff but I left all the counter is clean for me to do whatever I need to do. So I have a lot of space for actually for me to work and only in the back, I patch almost the wall. That's where I put some Christmas trees and stuff to keep the vibe because even when you're in the kitchen, which is where you spend the most time if you're cooking, well, that's where you need to actually see some decoration not only in the living room. So we also decor in here a little bit. And you can also see that we put some pillows and then we also use the um the cloth the take the cloth that you will use to clean your hands or to take something from the oven also it's in christmas style in the house um we have been here it's gonna be now this december 2021 it will be two years officially so we have been here you know for a very limited time and we have done lots in the time that we have been here i might actually do a video of all the progression of stuff that we have done in this past two years coming up soon. So anyways, I'll just show you then two of the bedrooms that have enough furniture for you guys and decoration, even though that each one of them has already lots of decoration, but these two are cozy enough that I'll show you then these two are bedroom and another guest bedroom so you can see and get some tips. So in here, we put then a garland in each one of them. And actually this was a garland for Halloween and we just put some glitter in it and then you just don't see the eyes. That was very spooky eyes for Halloween. And now we use it then for um, Christmas, but we also put them for Halloween and then just keep it the whole time for Christmas. So in the future, I might put some poncetias or something red in there so we can have some red in here. And then inside, then you can see that we have the comfort set is red. And then some of the pillows that as you have seen throughout the whole house and then we put some of those little stockings which if you have noticed there are stockings in each door and we put stockings also um, throughout the house you see some stockings you know everywhere everywhere 
it's very easy to actually use that and then we have also a christmas tree over here i am gonna just stop it right here and i'm gonna let you guys to enjoy the whole house and put some music for you to enjoy and relax so thank you so much for being here and i hope that some of the decoration also inspire you i know that many of us just likes to just watch decoration i love to watch decoration and go into houses of people and be like oh my god i love the decor that you did so you know but always you know do it within your budget i never want you to like go overboard everything that we have here it has been over the years for 10 years that we have been together just and i almost 10 years we have been you know gathering decor over the years even though that we lived in a tiny apartment for those almost 10 years and we had a, a garage and we were saving everything that we could in those two garage so anyways um i'm just rambling <laughs> just telling you that always do it within your budget i don't because the meaning of christmas it's not the whole materialism and decor, you know? The meaning of Christmas is to actually be with your family, which we're gonna be going in a few days to see our family. And let's go into the tour.
And that's a wrap! Yay! I hope that you really enjoyed the video. I know that I did. I love all the decoration and sharing it with you guys. I love our community. Our community has been growing so much. You guys are amazing. So if you're new, go ahead and you like the video and you got some inspiration, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Let's keep on growing and I'll see you again next Tuesday. Bye guys. Love you so much. Enjoy the day. Enjoy the miracles. Bye.